All right. Um, so we're going to learn today about why flowers need pollen. Okay. So what do you think? Why do you think flowers need pollen? I think that is. Uh, papaya. That one is a cantaloupe. Are you drawing a papaya? No, I'm drawing a cantaloupe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it looks like a cantaloupe. But I think papaya is similar. Um, but normally, papaya has a short end and then a round bottom like that. That's the little difference between it and a cantaloupe. So normally if you have a cantaloupe and you want it to be a papaya, you're gonna have to add a little bit right here <laughs> for it to look like a papaya. That's a very good cantaloupe you draw. Good job. Yeah. Um, all right, so uh, why do you think that flowers need pollen? What do you think? Do you have any ideas? No. No ideas? Yeah. Okay, well, let's read about it then. Can you read here what it says, Nick? I think animals such as birds and bees can't move pollen from the stamen to the pistol when can water can move pollen too. After pollen lands on the pistol, the flower starts to move its petals. The flower begins to grow into fruit with seeds. Very good. I think this is not a good. <laughs> All right. Um, so the pollen makes, what does it make the flower turn into? A fruit. A fruit. So if there's no pollen, then there is also no fruit, right? Yeah. So what do you think? Is pollen pretty important? or not important? Pretty, pretty important. Yep, I agree. All right, now let's look at our pictures down below. Um, what do you see here? A cantaloupe. Mm-hmm. Very good. Tell me about the color of the cantaloupe. Um, green. Mm -hmm. And orange. Mm -hmm. And the yellow. Very good. And another color. Mm -hmm. um, now, when the fruit becomes ripe, normally it will fall to the ground. For example, on an apple tree, um, once the apple is ready, it will fall down onto the ground. Um, what happens after it falls to the ground? It turns into a sand. <laughs> it turns into sand. Yeah, I know I, that the apple, if the apple goes into the ground, the ground, 
the ground will make the vitamins inside them. So the apples start to decrease the vitamins and eventually they turn black. Eventually, yeah. vitamins lose over and the apples start to shrink down to the solid, no, into the skin or a ground. If, if the apple is much ground, they will make a trillion of gravity push it. Mm -hmm. So, apples will start to turn into a stand, like one piece, two piece, two piece, two piece, two piece, two piece. <laughs> IP. They will yeah. eventually turn into one small atom, atom like part. So mm -hmm. there'll be a sand, which is an atom. Yep. And what about the seeds? What do you think the seeds turn into when they fall to the ground? Tree? Yep. They turn into new apple trees. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, very know, good. Some, some plants, some plants are cut the stem after they make a a baby plant. Mm -hmm. They cut it and then they get to another stand and and drop it. So, but not really like 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 that. Mm -hmm. Humans make this stem inside the stem, no, inside the stem or solid surface. Mm -hmm. So, human human make the hand like the stem and then goes into the stem. So oh. after few. After a few months, there will be a, a flower. And yeah. another few months, there will be a fruit. And after mm -hmm. more few months, there will be a tree. Mm -hmm. And after more few months, there will die. Oh, no. <laughs> You are correct. Good job. Um, all right, now let's move on to our seeds. Um, so what do you think seeds normally look like, Nick? Me? Yeah. A dot. Yeah, normally looks just like a little dot. And normally what shape are they? Sometimes they're round and sometimes they are oval. Mm -hmm. And some they are thin. Some they are big. <laughs> some they are small. Some they are a, a rain shape. Mm -hmm. and such as a green of mm -hmm. salt mm -hmm. and something that like many or thousands mm -hmm. maybe inside of the vegetables or fruit will be a lot of seeds. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Um, and why do we need seeds? What's important about them? Because seeds are important for a plant. Mm -hmm. If you have no seeds, you mean no plant. Mm -hmm. Yep, you're right. So there'll be no new baby plants, right? And, we and <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and if 
what, how do we make a sieve grow? How can we help it to grow? We need to save the earth. Mm -hmm. We need a healthy bee. Mm -hmm. Wait. Yep, oh, and then yeah. do you put your healthy seed? Go and, wait, wait, wait. I will go to no, no, watch company. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. So, what else do plants need, uh, or seeds need, in order for them to grow? Um. They. They hear. Just. They hear. Uh huh. I think it's very similar to like what a plant needs. Can you think of what a plant might need? Water and sunlight. Water and sunlight, very good. Um, and then I think the only difference is, is that seeds have food inside of them, where a plant normally gets food from the ground or they use photosynthesis to make food, right? Plants, um, seeds don't need to do that because they have their own food. Remember when we were looking yesterday at the lima bean? and it showed the little plant was here, um, and then everything else here was the food. So that's what happens with little seeds. All right. <laughs> Tell me about the picture here. What do you see? Really? Really, really little fruits of them, mm -hmm. like a small bacteria. I know. <laughs> All right, tell me about this picture, Nick. What do you see? Um. I don't know. What does it look like? A tree? A flower? A flower, very good. Tell me about the seeds of this flower. What do they look like? Mm, like, um, like, a paper thing there. So these ones look not so round, right? They're more like an oval shape, but very, very thin, kind of like this. All right, and then what about this picture here? What do you see? Flower. Mm-hmm. Tell me about the shape of this flower. What's unusual about it? Uh, a star? Yeah, it looks a lot like a star. But what color is it? Is it the same color as a star? No. No. What color is it? Pink. Very good. Um, and then here is the seed. What does the seed look like? Uh, 
looks like a really big starfish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks a lot like a star. <laughs> So that's a very interesting seed, right? Not a lot of seeds look like that one. Yeah. All right, any questions so far? Yeah. Um, so next part, we're gonna read about this part here. So um, this part of the seed, what is it called? Do you know? P. Uh, yeah, it's a peanut. <laughs> How do you spell P? P E A. P. Mm -hmm. Yep, you're right. That is a peanut. Um, but there are different aspects to the peanut, right? It's a peanut. Mm -hmm. Peanut. <laughs> okay, very good. So let's learn a few words. Um, so this part here, it's very hard. Do we eat this part of the peanut? No. No. Do you know what this part peanut. is called? I think peanut looks like this. Yeah, it does look like that. And what is that hard part called that we don't eat? Do you know? Shell. Yes, it's the shell. Um, and then the seed coat is the second part. So this peanut actually on the inside, it's a very light brown color, right? Yeah. Um, but the seed coat is dark brown. So you can eat the seed coat um, if you want to, um, but the seed coat is there to protect the seed from getting too dry. Okay. Okay. Any questions here? No, why? Okay, so why do you think some seeds um, need to have shells? What do you think the shells are for? Protect. Yep, protect. they are there to protect. What about the seed coats? What are they there for? To protect again. To protect them from getting too hot, getting too dry? Yeah. Yeah, so it's to protect them to protect them from getting too dry. Um, tell me about the peanut plant here. Where does where do the peanuts grow? Fallen. Uh, Starfish. Do they grow up on the tree branches or do they grow underground with the roots? What do you think, Nick? Do they grow above ground or underground, the peanuts? Underground. Very good. Do they grow with the leaves or do they grow with the roots? Roots and leaves. I think just the roots and the roots. <laughs> um, all right, Nick, it looks like we are out of time for today. Do you have any questions so far? Wait, 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 wait. Arrows, arrows, arrows. I will pull with arrows, arrows, arrows. I'll pull with arrows, 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 arrows. Arrows, arrows. Up. <laughs> um, do you have any questions, Nick? <laughs> no questions? <laughs> Um, we are out of time, so I will see you again tomorrow, okay? You have a good night, Nick. Bye-bye. See you later.